Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244. Welcome to the Jinzen incident. This is all three levels of the escalation with a son and assassin rating. And if basically, if Hitman was defined as a, a puzzle game, this escalation is a perfect example of that. It's a really good escalation. Highly recommend it. And uh, what we need to do, we've got one target for the level one. We've got a restricted loadout, which means we've got no items at all. No disguise changes are allowed, and we have to hide all bodies. And some crowbars have changed position, and they are rusted. What that means is, if you use it once, uh, it breaks, basically. So you can't use it multiple times. So from the very start, uh, we're going to grab that rusty crowbar from the very start. Climb up this bamboo ladder right here. Climb through the window. And we're going to use the rusty crowbar on the uh, these this metal door doorway right here and once we climb the stairs we'll be on the same floor as where the target is it's gonna be three guards in here we're gonna crouch around the room to make sure we don't get spotted so we're gonna go ahead and subdue uh, the target snap his neck and then drag him all the way over to the crate I do not recommend snapping his neck while you are subduing him because it makes a very loud noise to other guards and they will be alerted by it. So make sure you snap his neck after you have um, after you've subdued him. Now what we're going to do is just basically retrace our steps. Level one is very simple, and we're just going to retrace our steps and go back the way we came. And it's just as simple as that for level one, really. There's level 2 and level 3 is where it starts getting a little bit more difficult, but um, because there's so many entrances into this building, it's what makes it such a fun escalation compared to a lot of others. But once we've exited here, we'll get an easy start on Assassin Rate. I'm going to show the confirmation of that at the end here, and then we can move on to level 2. This has uh, also just reminded me how good this map is as well. But there you go. It's easy on assassin for level one. So let's move on to level two. And for level two, we have an additional target, and all the doors in the block now are locked. So every that's every single door. So from the restart, make sure you grab that rusty crowbar from the right, just in front of you, and then again climb up the bamboo ladder and climb through this window. And we are going to go the same path as we did in the level one. So it's going to break open this metal fence doorway thingy. And we are going to go sneak through this room. I'm going to grab the hammer that's just here so we can knock him out a little bit faster. So just go on, just whack him one, snap his neck, and then drag his body over to the crate over the other side of the room. Now it's very rare, but you can get uh, some random head turning here, which could mess you up here. Probably putting the body in the crate, but you no, know, five times out of six. I got it working perfectly. Grab the rusty crowbar that's just up next to the sink behind you, behind the crate. We're going to crouch run around the room. And we're going to wait for this guard to move out of the way. And then we're going to climb through the window on our left. And once you do that, we're going to climb up the ladder, climb up the, uh, the pipe right here. Jump through the window. And we're going to make our way over to where the staircase is on the opposite side. Careful of the guard in the corridor as you go up. There's going to be a camera on the next set of stairs, so just be careful of that. We're going to wait for it to pan, pan over to the left because we're going to exit the window on the right just to avoid all the guards and stuff like that. The only part you need to worry about now is just this little bit here, just getting past this window because he can have random head turning as well and he could potentially see you even though you're crouching uh, past the window way. Which I, I th hope they would fix that sort of thing because if for you see 47 crouching past but it's not the perspect perspective of the npcs which unfortunately but we're gonna come through this window now and uh pull out our hammer that we had earlier smack the target over the head with that knock him out and snap his neck and then just hide him in the nearby locker now what we're gonna do is just exit via this door right here and climb down this ladder just over the other opposite side so we're going a little bit of a different path to how we came in. Stay crouched around here so we don't get spotted. We're going to wait for this camera to pan to the right as we pass it. When I exit, you see there in the background, that's where we're going to exit. So once it pans all the way to the right, you can safely go past. 
We're still in a trespassing zone and still have two block guards on this roof. Just be careful of those. But once you climb down here, you'll exit the trespassing zone and you'll be fine to get to the exit. And yeah, there's two guns there, but you don't have to worry about those. They're not enforcers anymore because we're now in a legal area. Gonna be a pipe at the end of this walkway. Just gonna climb that. Once you climb to the top of the pipe though, that will be a trespassing zone, but there's gonna be no guard there. Not at this time anyway. We we'll just exit via the door, and there we go. A nice easy silent assassin for level two as well. Let's get a confirmation of that silent assassin. Boom, there we go. So moving on to level three. We have the same two targets, however, we now have to retrieve the scrap sword and we have to take out both targets with that said scrap sword. So from the very start, we're going to grab that rusty crowbar. I think this is the only crowbar we use in the entire level. So when you go this route, it, you really don't really need much. So I think level three is one amongst the easiest, but it's, it, it's, it's funny how um, this escalation is set out because, like I said, it's like a puzzle. And you just got to figure out the routes, really. You ever played those puzzle uh, magazines where there's like, you got to find uh, your way out from the middle of the maze? It's basically like that. But the scrap sword is just going to be here in the trash. Just want to grab that. This is going to be an illegal item, so even if you're carrying it around uh, anywhere, it, people will spot you with this on your back. So that's the reason why we have to go this route. So we're going to climb this bamboo ladder. This will take us on the block roof, I believe. At least one of the roofs, anyway. And we're going to go across the roof. And we're going to avoid these little uh, drones. It doesn't matter if you get spotted by those. It doesn't ruin your silent assassin rate. All it does is just triggers the guard to come over and to investigate. And as long as you don't get spotted by the guard, you're good to go. So don't worry about it. I'm going to drop down here, across the bridge. And we're back to where we were in the end of level 2. So you'll be into familiar surroundings now. Again, we're going to wait for the camera to pan away before we pass. We don't have any guns or anything like that, so we can't take out the cameras right now. So once it pans away, we can uh, walk around the edge. Careful of the window. Climb the ladder. So again, we got, we're kind of going in a reverse order of, as what we did in level 2. Use the uh, keypad on the door, so it's 2552. And you'll be able to enter the room. Stay crouched, circle around him, and go in and whack him over the head with the the, uh, the sword. Just don't throw it because the th when you throw it, it does make a noise and it's going to attract the guard's attention. So don't don't throw the sword. It's important to just use a melee. But once we've hidden his body there, we're going to jump out the window and shimmy along this ledge. And like I said, we're basically doing level two in reverse now. So you should uh, have a a little, an idea of where we're actually going again just be careful of this guy because his head is just constantly turning left and right like an owl once we come through this window we're gonna wait for the camera pan all the way to the right as we probably pass that and then get down the stairs go past the guard he isn't gonna spot you so don't worry about him and then we're gonna go out the window to save some time, I would recommend just carrying on going on down the corridor and then going out the window to the other side because you can slide down the, la the pipe there instead of going through this hassle of shimmying along all the way over here. See that pipe there? Uh, yeah, you could have just run all the way down to the end of the corridor and, sh and slide down that pipe just to get through that window, which is probably what we should have done, but I didn't realize at the time. I wasn't about to re-record the whole thing just because of that. We're going to wait for this guard to move out of the way. He's going to be on his phone for just a few more seconds and he's going to walk away. The guy in the background, he's going to slightly spot you, but you can't avoid that. So you just have to uh, just get out of break the line of sight as quick as you can. There we go. I'm going to grab that wrench right there. We're just going to wait in this position because the uh, the guard in front of us, we need him to move over back over to the left. Otherwise we can't take out the target or, or have enough time to hide his body. So once he goes past you, go and leap over this desk and take out your target. And once you've done that, we need to hide his body. 
you don't need the scrap sword anymore you can uh, go ahead and dump that if you want to i would recommend it because you need to get past some guards at the end so just go ahead and drop the sword you don't need it anymore we're going to use our crowbar that we picked up at the start on this door and if you uh, there was a there was a crowbar just behind the, where that crate was on the sink so if you don't have this uh, shortcut unlocked, make sure you bring that rusty crowbar that was just behind that crate. And you can break open this shortcut right here. If you have already got it unlocked, don't worry about it. Obviously you don't need it. But so this is now no longer a trespassing zone once you're down here. And you're free to just run straight to the exit. And it's uh, basically as simple as that, as easy as that really. It's easy when you know what you're doing, obviously, of course. I always say that. I always say it's easy, easy as that, but that's because I know what to do. But once you know what you do, know what you're doing and know where you're going, it's very simple. But it's a nice little escalation. It's one of the better ones compared to uh, was it the Phoenix Ascension? That wasn't a very good one. But this one is a it's a decent one, and it highlights the uh, the good things about the game, in my opinion. But there we go. It's, uh, that's the Jinzen incident. All three levels and silent assassin in this escalation. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully that's, I've helped you out. Subscribe if you want new to the channel. Drop a like if it did help you out or if you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, subscribe if you want new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And a big shout out to Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedri, Arjel, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller, The Crazy Jesus, The Shafe, Isaiah Blake, Nico Senpai, and Ass A, Don Baker, Mina Kramida, and JD for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate you all. I appreciate all my supporters. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Cheers.